Could it be that the biophotonic light produced by your body is a manifestation of what is called light-based science? With the same being said of the light generated by the distant stars and our hovering sun? Are the stars in part playing roles as nuclear fusion powered light emitting diodes? Among other roles, as more than just meaningless balls of flaming radioactive gas? Let us try to answer these questions. First by considering the fact that the colors and temperatures and types of stars more or less correspond to the colors and temperatures and types of light emitting diodes and light based bulbs which have many technological applications with the reddest being the coolest and the bluest being the hottest in what is one of many significant and mind-blowing comparisons in this video we can see how the temperature and colors are interrelated in both comparisons the dynamics of which determines the levels of brightness in these comparisons which in part means that the Sun and the stars at large in part appear to be playing roles as components in some kind of LED lighting communications and projection array and a combination thereof among other roles I suspect With you paying special attention to the chemical symbols in this video, as well as to the fine print and the color comparisons whenever relevant, especially right now as you witness with your own eyes how light emitting diodes and laser LEDs and stars like our sun harbor silicone and metal at and near their cores which to me means that the structural and chemical compositions of the stars in our sun and light emitting diodes and LED lasers are not so dissimilar as to be dismissed with the elements silicone and metal being the same common denominator here and bearing in mind that our Sun is a yellow dwarf star that in part chemically mirrors yellow LEDs and LED lasers let us narrow our focus now down to our Sun and to its possible role as a light source for these light based technologies including opto reflective sensor technology with the moon playing its technological role which I am not going to go into right now including in what might be some kind of reflective microscope that might involve other planets in our solar system that could be doubling as these technologies that involve light and this includes serving as components in a giant computer vision system as well as a giant microscope of some kind as previously mentioned plus other roles including a holographic data storage system but with us narrowing our focus down to a holographic projection system compared to our solar system with this book asserting that we are in part a quantum hologram of some kind falling nicely into place here as a good heuristic aid that I will use liberally in this video in a metaphysical concept that brings us to what is called quantum dot technology which includes quantum dot cellular imaging which in part involves UV light not unlike the UV light generated by the Sun key words in this video are quantum dots and light and color as we move into another area quantum dots are a form of nanoparticle crystals aka synthetic atoms that have everything to do with color and light including backlighting they are in part used in the production of light emitting diodes as well as UV based in vivo biomedical optical sensing probes 
plus 3D holographic and high definition TV and computer display screens on top of quantum computers and other cutting edge technologies as you bear in mind the significance of the fact that the chemical compounds used to produce quantum dots are also found in our bodies and the stars at large all of which are alive with the equivalent of quantum dots as well as light and color visible and invisible Now let us notice here how white quantum dots correspond to the white aura color of humans which corresponds to what is called white light biomedical imaging which in turn corresponds to the metaphysics of the white light of heaven and other divine white light sources that in turn correspond to the so-called white hole in time as well as white dwarf stars and white holes which correspond to white light emitting diodes in general which in turn correspond to the white auras of humans and so on and so forth with physics and metaphysics colliding every step of the way with the same being said of black holes which absorb light just like an optical receiver diode which brings us to what are called white and black light emitter and receiver diodes juxtaposed to white and black holes which respectively radiate and absorb light with this being juxtaposed to white and black auras the significance of which you can ascertain yourself if there is any significance at all as we bear in mind that white light emitting diodes are often used in tandem with black infrared receiver diodes largely as detectors of light and motion as we also bear in mind that white holes are supposedly black holes in reverse according to Albert Einstein with the yin and yang concept falling into place in this video here in ways that are obvious with the white hole in time concept once again falling into place here as well as what would have to be the polar opposite of the black hole at the beginning of time and with black holes being computers supposedly according to Scientific American magazine thereby invoking an image in my mind of some kind of dual core central processor at the center of the universe perhaps with the so-called white hole in time perhaps being the ultimate destination we call heaven with the colors of our auras and chakras perfectly corresponding to the seven colors produced by a singular beam of white light through a prism juxtaposed to these book titles that postulate that there is some kind of white entity at the center of time and space in a dynamic that conjures up in my head some kind of light fidelity center or centralized computer of some kind from which we are downloaded at conception perhaps as incarnations of these stars including the incarnations of black holes if we are their incarnations then this is how it's done and whether or not this be the case a part of us is made of light called biophotons 
and we are also supposedly stars wrapped in skin according to this poem here and black holes are supposedly souls if we take these concepts at face value and compare them to these light based technologies which could include black holes which might be playing multiple roles in some kind of light based technology system that involves these LED and computer based technologies and a concept that extends to white holes as well as white dwarf stars and the rest of the stars with us focusing on the color comparisons as we also bear in mind once again that the chemical elements in our bodies contain the same chemical elements of the same type of quantum dots that are used in everything from LED high definition display screens to in vivo biomedical optical imaging probes as previously discussed as well as quantum computing devices and other technologies what I am going to instill into your intellect by being redundant here whether you like it or not is that many of the chemical elements that make up our bodies are likely serving as in vivo quantum dots and other biomedical nanoparticles largely made of stardust from long dead stars which were also made of stardust from long dead stars and so it goes all the way back to the Big Bang when the first photons begin fusing into the elements that make up the universe in a process that continues to this day with the food and water we consume in part containing the chemical equivalent of quantum dots and other nanoparticle technologies that were created in nuclear reactions within and among the stars that have been dead for billions of years but whose ashes ultimately ended up in earth soil and water in the food chain with ourselves being at the apex of this food chain what is especially interesting is that the seven layers and the seven types and colors of stars appear to more or less correspond to the seven layers and types and sequences of the main sequence stars in our galaxy The same could probably be said of quantum dots with the chemical common denominators here being many of the same elements plus the same visible and main invisible colors of the color spectrum chart which are as universal as the seven colors of the rainbow. And if by some non-existent chance that we are one and the same with the stars or some other entity or entities for that matter this relationship would in part have to be facilitated through technological platforms one of which would have to be called a network on chip device the dynamics of which I am not going to elaborate on but they look a lot like our Milky Way galaxy These network on chips have multiple computing communications and routing nodes and so forth built into them including what are called rotating optical and or photonic ring and other network on chip devices with their ring structures and arrangements of electronic components within these structures abstractly mirroring our Milky Way's ring structure and internal arrangement of stars, planets, and black holes, and so forth. And although I personally don't necessarily believe that we are somehow avatars of dead and or living stars and or black holes, I will say, however, that if we are then it would 
also have to, in part, be facilitated through what is called quantum entanglement, e.g. photon entanglement, which is a scientifically proven phenomena whereby two or more separate particles that were created together can affect each other over any distance, including across the vastness of space and perhaps time. This in part means that the carbon ashes of long dead stars that did or did not become black holes make up most of the chemical elements in our bodies as the equivalent of quantum dots in our flesh and blood that are perhaps interacting with the same dead stars and even black holes these ashes originated from. And with me obsessing about the concept of quantum dot technology and how the chemistry of our bodies is made of the same chemical elements of certain types of quantum dots. And this would include carbon quantum dots. And you already probably know that carbon is the element that makes up most of the elements in our bodies and the stars at large. with trace amounts of silicone also found in our bodies as well as in quantum dot chemistry and the stars at large especially high mass stars where silicone and metals and other elements are synthesized via nuclear reactions inside these stars sort of kinda like the synthesis of silicon and iron oxide based quantum dot nanoparticles in laboratories and factories what is also significant is that iron is what makes our blood red like iron oxide aka rust which is reddish in color and it basically makes our blood red as we also consider that quantum dot and metal oxide nanoparticles are used as in vivo biomedical luminescent imaging agents as previously discussed which means that many of the metal and other chemical elements that help make up our bodies are not just the ashes and dust of long dead stars but also the equivalent of biomedical imaging agents and light emitters of some kind plus other roles where the comparisons between ourselves and technology in the stars become even more pronounced and with us never forgetting that our bodies are made from the dust of long dead stars is that scientists have recently invented what are called smart dust sensors these are itty bitty sensors that are made of the same types of metals that are naturally found in our bodies that were synthesized in the stars followed by the other metals and silica of the types used to make the smart dust and other technologies thereby possibly rendering you a living incarnation of these smart dust sensors and other technologies and the stars at large with iron being the most abundant metals in our blood and flesh just like in these smart dust remote sensors these mass produced and expendable itty bitty robotic sensing devices can be made to be mobile and function like insects or they can be simple inert chips which to various degrees have built-in optical and other sensors and computers and antennas and so forth smart dust can be scattered or injected into virtually any military or civilian environment including within the human body for the purpose of collecting processing and relaying information about this environment just like our five physical senses do with our brains here to process the information like the processor in a smart dust device with the electromagnetic field produced by our bodies being the communications component 
There are no two ways about the fact that our bodies are biological machines of some kind. Also consider that the DNA molecules in our cellular nuclei are considered to be computers. According to Scientific American magazine, juxtaposed to the concept of DNA-based computing, juxtaposed to the fact that black holes are supposedly computers, with the types of black holes corresponding to the types of computers, as well as the types of DNA. The same could be said of the stars at large, which are arranged according to their type, which correspond to the human blood types. Especially with regard to the ABO blood types, as well as inheritance patterns and compatibility types, juxtaposed to the ABO star types. as we juxtapose this to as we juxtapose this to the fact that we have seven chakra personality types juxtaposed to the fact that there are seven types of stars seven layers of the human aura seven colors of light emitting diodes and so on and so forth And this brings us to these comparisons in star colors in human auras and chakras that I am not going to linger on as we notice the obvious similarities in colors of the stars and the human auras and chakras within these auras that correspond to the colors of the stars and so on and so forth in ways that I think are too coincidental to be a coincidence. If these stars are living vicariously through us, with us being their avatars of some kind, then it would have to be technologically facilitated through these technologies you see in this video. And there are no two ways about this, because there is no such thing as magic. And the one and only reason I made this video, as I start widening it up without lingering on these color comparisons, is in response to the fact that since time immemorial, mystics, shamans, and the rest of the metaphysicians and even entire religions and cults have been claiming that the stars are somehow intelligent and that we are children of the stars and that we will one day return to the cosmos and become one with the cosmos after our physical bodies perish. But only if we learn how to become one with the cosmos as we transcend our earthly physical desires and impulses and so on and so forth. The ancient peoples even worshipped the stars as well as the planets which were named after ancient gods or vice versa. Mormons and I think even Catholics believe that there are billions if not more spirits waiting up in the metaphysical realm of heaven somewhere just waiting their turn to be born onto the earth which is why these religions adamantly oppose abortion maybe the above mentioned spirits if they exist are actually stars just waiting to experience mortality as you consider that the complexity of the chaotic electromagnetic fields generated by stars rivals the electromagnetic complexity inside our brains and bodies which are all alive with electromagnetism just like machines by the way the stars appear to be machines just like we are or so it appears when we factor in the comparisons in this video let us also consider that the electric field alone produced by our bodies is the same as those produced by electric antennas with the same being said of the stars and even black holes all of which generate an electric field 
like electric antennas would, I presume. Also consider these comparisons of the omnidirectional electromagnetic fields produced by our bodies and the stars at large, including black holes, compared to the structure and fields of an omnidirectional radio transceiver antenna. And this would include a radio remote control unit. This means that the electromagnetic fields produced by the stars and our bodies appear to be the equivalent of radio signals which means that the stars at large and ourselves appear to in part be playing roles as omnidirectional radio transceiver units. Also consider that the dipole electromagnetic field generated by the heart alone is the equivalent of a radio signal unto itself, as the nexus or core for iron-rich blood not unlike the iron cores that are used in antennas and other radio and telecommunications equipment in order to increase their signal strength. Also bear in mind that there is iron at and near the core of stars, including our Sun, as well as planets like our Earth, all of which have iron in their cores that help generate the equivalent of radio and Wi-Fi signals. This means that all the ingredients are here for some kind of animated universe in which the stars and black holes exist vicariously through us and perhaps other sentient life forms in the universe perhaps. Also consider the relevant fact that our bodies are in part made of the same metals as robots of any kind, which are found in trace amounts in our bodies, in addition to generating electricity and being water cooled. Our joints are also lubricated, just like robots and androids, in what are a few comparisons. We are biological machines with our bodies perhaps being the equivalent of some kind of virtual reality suit that would render us the equivalent of avatars perhaps as previously noted as avatars of stars and black holes perhaps with us entertaining the thought with these comparisons that took a few years to collect and put into sequence for this video Perhaps none of us are who we think we are. Perhaps some of us are a lot older than we think we are, and perhaps some of us are newbies. Perhaps newborn stars experiencing mortal life for the first time. Whatever the case, Whatever is going on in the universe and here on Earth is technological in nature. And most especially if black holes are indeed time machines and computers like these publications say they are, the implications of which are scary. And if you like this video then subscribe and share and hit the like and notification buttons.